it is time for another makeup look. Today I'm going to do this look on myself and on my daughter Skye. It's just a soft golden summery glow light makeup and I'm going to do it on both of us to show you that it is completely versatile and can be used on a woman of any age. Skye is 17, I'm 46. If I had a woman here in her 60s I would also be doing it on her to show you that it is completely adaptable to any age. Unfortunately I don't so you'll have to just watch me and Skye getting the same look done. Uh, first I'm going to show you what I did on Sky, and then we'll go through it on myself, recreating it bit by bit, showing you which products I use and showing you how versatile and easy it is for anybody. So let's get into it. So I'm going in with a MAC paint pot in Painterly, which is my standard primer for pale skin. Just sweeping that over the eyelid to give us a nice smooth base. I'm using this old Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. I'm going to use this gold colour here because it's pretty much the goldest gold that I've got. Blend away. Slightly darker colour. What are you laughing at? And just think of it as, as drawing a C shape there we're just creating a bit of shadow where the natural shadow would go and that's all now with my flat brush i'm going to go in with the dark shade and i'm just going to push it down holding the lid up i'm going to push it down into her eyelash line. I'm going to take that gold shade, just look up for me, take that gold shade underneath the lashes and then I'm just going to go into the corners, look up again. At this point you will have some fallen eyeshadow down here so I'm just going to wipe it away with just a damp cotton pad. Urgh. Oh! Woo! Oh! with those two yapping out there. This is a little highlighter. Dust it over the cheekbone. She wants it there. Look for here. Red. That's what I want. Okay, but no. Poor little Luba. Look down for me. Okay, we had so many distractions while we were trying to film that. It was an absolute disaster. So now I'm going to do it on myself. I'm going to do exactly the same thing uh, with no distractions. I've turned off my Wi-Fi. Carla's gone to work. Uh, Sky's asleep. So let's see if we can get this done. So starting again with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly as a primer. Now they do do a gold version of this. So that would also work well if you wanted a little bit more shimmer. I know that a lot of my viewers are over 40. There's absolutely no reason why you cannot wear a shimmery eyeshadow if you want to. There's no rules. So I'm going in with that gold shade again. I'm just going to wash it all over my eyelid up to where the natural crease is. If you've got hooded eyes, what you want to do is bring this colour up onto the brow bone. Try and create like an, let's say an almond shape. So you just want to brush it up a bit so that you can see it. And don't forget, you might not be able to see your eyeshadow when it's on, but whenever you blink, everybody else can. So I'm just going to bring that up a little bit more over the crease there. Then I'm going to get my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend those edges so we've got no harsh lines. Now, I'm going to use a highlighter, which I used on Sky. I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow and I'm going to put it up on my brow bone there, which is what I did with Sky. And then give that a little blend again. If it's a very miserable day where you are, you're not going to notice that. But as soon as you 
get out into the sunlight or bright light, that's going to really ping. Then I went in with a slightly darker bronzy shade and I just enhanced the shadow in the corners a little bit by doing a C shape like that. Then I went in with my flat brush and the darkest shade I can find in there and used it as an eyeliner. So just pushing it into the lash line. Now, if you want to go in strong with this, just use an eyeliner or another little trick that I'm gonna show you is, let me just give it a little blend because that will blend, that will actually blend out quite smokily. It's a very soft look. There, I think it looks better. Um, is, you can, if you're using eyebrow powders, I got quite a lot of comments about the grey Illamasqua eyebrow powder that I used the other day, and then afterwards I found out that they don't make it anymore, which is typical. But Anastasia Beverly Hills do one called Ash Brown Brow Powder Duo. And this is quite well loved because I use this, this is part of my kit, but it is a lighter gray and a darker gray. It does exactly the same job. And I use this, as you can tell, quite a lot. You could also use this as an eyeliner. You can wet it, you could lick the brush, but that's not very hygienic. So you get a little, little drop of water, you can wet it and you could just use it as an eyeliner um, if you want something a bit stronger than an eyeshadow eyeliner. And you can use your fingers too. So as you can see, I'm not doing anything precise here. I'm just smudging it in really. And I'm going to go underneath a bit. I'm going to put mascara on now because I sometimes sneeze as soon as I put my mascara on. And because I've got quite long eyelashes, my mascara, when I sneeze, goes everywhere and covers my whole face. So I always finish my eyes before I do the rest of my face. Today, I'm going to use the Clinique. It's so old, it's almost worn off. Clinique. It's the Clinique Mascara in the white tube. I can't read the name, it's completely worn off. And the thing about this one is it has this very odd brush. It's like a comb and it is very, very precise. This is brilliant for short lashes, especially short Asian lashes when they're like the really, really tiny sparse ones that you can hardly see. It gets and covers every single lash. It's not waterproof in any way whatsoever and I would not recommend it if your eyes weep a lot, if you get watery eyes, because it's no good for that at all. But if you've got sparse lashes, sparse lashes, it is fantastic. And you could always actually use the brush with your favorite mascara. I think it's the brush and the way the brush gets it on. But you can see there, you've got to zigzag it through and it clings on to every single lash. See the difference between that one and that one? Some people don't like putting on mascara on their bottom lashes. That's absolutely fine. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. There's no rules. Everyone does what they feel comfortable with. I'd never force anybody to put on any makeup that they're not comfortable. Some people never do their eyebrows. Fine, if you do your eyebrows for the first time, you will feel like Ernie and Bert from Sesame Street with these big heavy eyebrows because it changes what you look like and that's what makeup does. If you're not comfortable with that change, don't do it. There's no rules at all. It's what you feel comfortable with. So whatever I'm showing you, you take it with a pinch of salt. If you wanna try the whole look, you try it. If you wanna try little bits of it, try little bits of it. If you're only here watching because you wanna see what I look like without makeup on, that's fine too. But um, I'm just showing you what I do and how I do it. And hopefully if you want to learn some tips, you might. Oh, and the other important thing that I wanted to tell you is how old I am, because that's important too, because I'm claiming to do over 40s makeup. Yes, I'm over 40, I'm 46. And um, that means I'm fully qualified to do over 40s makeup. <laughs> Right, so let's get on with this. I've done the eyes, now what am I gonna do? So on Sky, I did, um, I did a very, very light base. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which is not a foundation. It is a, for a superstar youth glow. It's a glow cream, that's the nice way to put it. It's a glow cream. It's made up of very, very, very fine particles that doesn't give you shimmer or shine. It just gives you a glow. And I'm gonna mix that with just a tiny, bit of foundation. 
I normally mix it on my hand with the end of a brush like that, so it's all mixed up together. And then I'm just going to give myself a glow. You may not notice much difference, but we don't want much difference. It's all the tiny, tiny things that make a difference together, not each individual thing that makes a huge difference. While I'm doing my makeup this morning, by the way, this is my view. Lily asleep here and Holly sitting on the pool cover, keeping guard. Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of concealer under the eyes. I don't think I did that with Sky. Maybe I did a little bit, I can't remember. I did, that was a couple of days ago that I did Sky's makeup. So um, I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer there. Then I went in with the Hoola bronzer. Now I hardly ever use bronzer on myself and I have <laughs> an absolutely minute pot without the lid because I took the lid off so I could use the mirror for something else. Um, so I'm gonna, now with bronzer, you just wanna sort of dust it across the tops of your cheekbones. You do not want to end up with brown stripes going across your face. You put it in all the points where the sun would hit. It's pointless me putting up here really because my fringe is gonna go down. There we go. Now we're gonna go back in with the highlighter haven't bought the right brush for that. Okay, I will use my blending brush and just, just dust that lightly across the tops of the cheekbones. I'm not going to stick it on the end of my nose. My nose is big enough already. I do not need to highlight my nose. So I'm just going to put it there. Really put it up there. Eyebrows. We didn't really do much to Sky's eyebrows because she's 17. She doesn't need much done to her eyebrows. I'm just going to Fill in mine where the missing bits are. I'm using the lighter grey of the two. The dark one I'd only use on darker skin tones really. Or if somebody wanted extremely dark brows. I had a bridesmaid once who asked for blue glittery eyebrows. She, she was a bridesmaid, I said no. I would have let her if all the other bridesmaids were having blue bushy red eyebrows, but I just thought, no. Not such a wedding, darling. I'm gonna go in with um, Huda Lip Liner in Bombshell. And same lip gloss that I use on Sky, which is some random Calvin Klein one lip gloss. I have no idea where this came from. And there, that's it. Just a very simple, easy, soft, glowy look. Nothing strong, nothing too much. It pretty much suits anybody. You could wear it at any age. There's no reason why if you're 60, you can't wear this look. I have seen a tutorial where Charlotte Tilbury herself makes up her mother, who must have been in her 60s. I'm not gonna say early or late. Must have been in her 60s at the time and she used shimmery eyeshadows on her and she looked fantastic. There's no reason why you can't do it unless you feel uncomfortable with it and you don't want to do it. So that's what I used. I hope you enjoyed that look. I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the day now. And Sky kept hers on for the rest of the day a couple of days ago and was quite happy with it. Now that I have put a full face of makeup on, I'm going to go and collect the eggs from the chickens so that they're not terrified by my face. Hello, chicky chickies. We made, made eggs for me today. I love the fact that they follow me. Usual three that side. Thank you, girlies. What are you doing in here? Come on, out. Out, you're not a chicken. Out. Now, I am starting to wonder if four eggs per day is actually too many. I need to take some of these down to Carla's parents or something. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look on me and Sky and collecting the eggs with the chickens. And I will see you for another makeup look next Friday and a vlog on Sunday.